What's up, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk. Michael back at it again with another Chicago Bears video. <sighs> if you can tell by my voice, I'm just very irritated, and I basically just want to go up to Ryan Poles and be like, "Hey, can you get can you get an answer of when you're going to deal with this?" Because this has been dragging out for so uh, long, and it has gotten to the point of us Chicago Bears fans fighting with each other on social media and on YouTube platforms and in comment sections. Rather, that means we uh, we want to you know trade the pick, which would be the smartest thing to do. And you got people that are like, you know what? We gave Justin Fields three years. It didn't work out. Time time to restart the quarterback clock fresh and have Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus draft their guy. And with the number one overall pick, folks, if you go watch the end of the press conference after we lost to the Green Bay Packers the day after that, and I've watched that press conference so many times that I've lost count. And the more important thing that Matt Eberflus says that Justin Fields will continue to grow as we grow as a team. So, and Ryan Poles has also said in press conferences that if he makes the judgment call, it is not by fear of what may happen to him if he does, in fact, get it wrong. So, Ryan Poles is telling you that he thinks the team can win now with Justin Fields as the quarterback. Now, the thing about that is... He is going. He did um, his homework in diligence on Caleb Williams, and I just want to say this: Caleb Williams is the first player to ever back out of his medicals. So let's take that into accountability. Caleb Williams did not want to share his medical records with cer with certain teams and he was the first player to back out of medical exams during the combine unlike the other players that all, that did the medical exams so that is a major that is if it's not major it's at least one red flag that you have to account yourself on Personally, I don't have a problem with him wanting to show his medicals but he was the first player ever in his in all, all of combine history to back out of his medical exam and to be honest even if you view Caleb Williams as a generational talent like y'all do that's one uh one of the flags that you have to tell yourself and Caleb Williams it has to come down to if Ryan Poles truly is in love with Caleb Williams because the, the thing that I love, and it's been reported this week, that the trade market value for Justin Fields is low. So at this point in time, you're going to get um, the trade market value is a fourth and a fifth round pick for Justin Fields. And I love when people want to say the narrative, why would you start a guy that the NFL does not view as worth a third, second, or first round pick. Well, maybe because they weren't shopping him in the first place. No Chicago Bears media analyst or report that I'm aware of has reported that Justin Fields has been in shopping, uh, that the Bears are shopping quarterback Justin Fields. So, and there has been reports that says that since um they're not getting the offer that they were expecting the chances of Justin Fields staying increases a lot than what you expect it to be now this does not mean well I highly doubt this will happen this does not mean they could still draft Caleb Williams with Justin Fields on the roster but is that likely to happen you have to ask yourself is it fair to Justin that you're drafting Caleb Williams. Is it fair to Caleb Williams that he's going to have to sit behind Justin Fields for a year to learn 
to learn the playbook. It is not, it's one thing if we had Alex Smith and we were going and we were, and we won the division a lot of times in, in the AFC West. So it's one thing if we had an aging old quarterback that's been on our team long, Alex Smith, Justin Fields has been on this team for, he's entering his fourth year. So, and the time of this, this, this recording, Justin Fields has played three seasons with us. We do not have an aging quarterback. Now they could do that and trade Justin Fields for a bag of chips and bring in Kirk Cousins, which would honestly not not be a smart decision because you want to know why because they Kirk Cousins doesn't know the playbook. Do you want to know who does know the playbook? Justin Fields. Do you want to know who didn't know the playbook before Mahomes started? Alex Smith. Alex Smith was there for about four to five years before they drafted Patrick Mahomes and they had success with Alex Smith before Patrick Mahomes. So the time frame does not add up, so, and you have to think with your brain logically. So, Kate, and plus, there has been reports that Caleb Williams has canceled um, work uh, canceled workouts with the Bears and is refusing to show uh, give them his medical records at the moment. And that was after the combine, mind you. So, do you want to know what I expect the Bears to do next week? And no, I'm not going to give you a date. Uh, next week because it could be any day just like the Jalen Johnson signing I said we were going to do it in the offseason but I didn't say that I didn't say that we were going to do it the next day I just said we're going to later handle it in the offseason did I expect it to happen the next day no but I said later in the offseason so next week is when the lingering tampering period starts on Monday and officially the free agency begins and shout out to Keith on the mic real quick one of one of my one of my guys that I, that I talk to every day, me and him don't see eye to eye sometimes, but he's a good dude. So Keith on the mic told me this, and I actually agree with it. If Justin Fields is still on the team per March 13th, which is when the new league is starting, that should tell you that they're sticking with Justin Fields. And I agree with that 100% because it makes sense. Because they said that they would like to handle this before free agency. Well, March 13th is right around the corner. Monday is the legal and tampering period. So... Let me tell you something about Caleb Williams. The reason why I say I'm not going to care about the Bears anymore if they get Caleb Williams is because I've seen this before. We bring in a uh, rookie quarterback, pair him with a head coach. He only has he has to learn a whole new system after that coach gets fired. And it would. And do you want to know what the Caleb Williams cultists will be doing? They're going to be saying the same quote excuses that we use for Justin Fields that he doesn't have a center, that he doesn't have anything else besides DJ Moore. Shane Waldron does not know what he's doing. Uh, Matt Eberflus is a is a lame duck head coach. Like the same excuses, the same quote excuses that they claim that we use for Justin Fields. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to apply it to Caleb Williams because I've seen it before. I've seen it with, with, with uh, I didn't say much with Trubisky because we actually did not like that pick. We did with Fields. We said Fields did not have an offensive line. We did not, we, we said Fields did not have a receiver his rookie year because Robinson was a corpse that year and we he had no offensive line. So, and I get it. Fields had three years to develop and we all wanted him to take that big leap year three, but we have to look at the context two years. Um, the first year he was put in a very bad situation. The first game should have told you right away that they put Justin Fields in a terrible position and same with his um, second year, he was throwing to uh, receivers like 
Byron Pringle, Equinemius St. Brown, and Dante Pettis. And the offensive line was horrible. They actually tied with the Denver Broncos that year for sacks. And this year, yeah, they had a middle of the uh, O-line pack, and they had they gave him a number one receiver in DJ Moore. That was the only one year that you could truly say that they actually gave Justin Fields uh, things to work with. But the thing is, he hasn't had a legitimate play caller ever since Bill Lazor. And I feel like, We've seen more with Justin Fields out of Bill Lazor than um, than we did with Luke Getze. If we had Bill Lazor, I think we would have seen more out of Justin Fields. Because if you look at Justin Fields' rookie year with Bill Lazor, and basically um, look at it from a perspective. Justin Fields, even though the stats don't say it, but if you watch with your own eyes, Justin Fields – was playing to his strengths. He was getting the ball much quicker. And if you go look at that offense and compare it to the offense that you saw last year and this year, you would look at it at a completely different uh, mindset. Now, Shane Waldron. And honestly, I'll give Shane Waldron credit. He did revive the career of Geno Smith. But I'm going to be honest with you, and this is a hot take if we get Caleb Williams. I do not think Caleb Williams fits Shane Waldron's office. And I'm going to say why, because we probably would have been better off hiring Cliff Kingsbury if we were going to take Caleb Williams. Because you want to know what people don't admit about Caleb Williams. He has never, I have never seen Caleb Williams play under center. And you want to know, and for all of you geeks that don't know, uh, that don't know football, do you want to know what under center means? It's basically when the quarterback gets behind um, the center, the center's ass, and grabs it under his ass and says, hike. If you go look at Caleb Williams, majority of his plays were by shotgun formation. Waldron's offense does not do that. Go look at the all 22. Geno Smith got under the center. Drew Locke got under center. And Russell Wilson got under center. Caleb Williams has not been under center. At least I'm not, not to my knowledge, not to my knowledge, but as far as I know, in my perspective, I have not seen Caleb Williams uh, ever consistently play under center, which a lot of teams do that right, right around the NFL. And I would think Caleb Williams would fit in a more air raid offense, which is why, which I will say this, the Bears will definitely trade the pick. To which team? I hope it's the Giants because I hope because that's realistically where Caleb probably will be set up to fail because they have no offensive line, no receivers. At least with Washington, you could say he has uh, uh, scary Terry. At least you could say he has uh, what was that uh, receiver that they have? Uh, his his mind. Um, uh, I remember him in his rookie year. They when they drafted him, it was about 2022. Um, about that receiver. Can someone remind me in the comment section? At least he has weapons over there in Washington. He doesn't have any weapons over New York. He, I mean, what do they have? Uh, Darius Slayton. Daniel, I mean, Daniel Ballinger's okay, but he's not a top five, a top five, uh, not a top 10 tight end. My, my bad. My, and they don't have any proven receivers. And as far as their offensive line goes, do we even need to say the offensive line gave up 83 sacks? That was the most. And, and that was second. In, well, first in my lifetime, I saw an offensive line that was bad. And basically, 83 sacks, that will take years for them to gel together. So that's why if I'm Ryan Poles, I want to squeeze an offer out of the Giants as I can, send Caleb to New York, have the Bears at the sixth overall pick, draft Roma Doomsday, and get Jackson Powers Johnson and trade back with the ninth overall pick to uh, maybe 12 or 13 with a quarterback need team and basically draft Jackson Powers Johnson. So, Caleb, so have Caleb Williams be in a terrible position. So the Giants can be horrible with him. And basically, you'll be set up to succeed in the near future. Because Ryan Poles has said it, said it himself. He wants to build a team for the draft. We currently have five picks going into the draft. We have to trade. 
Rather, that's from number one, which you're going to get a lot from number one, or number nine, which you're going to get less. And basically, the the high for fields at this point is a fourth and a fifth. That's because they never were shopping him in the first place. Atlanta is interested in Kirk Cousins. Uh, the Raiders, I think they're going to get Russell Wilson probably. Um, Pittsburgh, they're going to roll with Kenny Pickett. Even though that's a dumb decision, I think they should have signed Russ and call it a day. But that's just my opinion. So, um, the so to end off this, the Bears met with the safety Kevin Bo- whatever, uh, what, what's his face? Uh, he was a safety for the Titans and then got released from the Eagles. So, base basically, we're we're gonna add more safety. Uh, we're gonna sign a safety, I believe, in the next coming days. So. Turn on your bell notification on when that happens. So anyways, I think that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching. Bear down.